Coming up next, it's a flyweight showdown between Justin Scoggins and Ben Tanwin. All right, so as this young fighter makes the walk here tonight, you know his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent down? Because once I get him to the mat, I know I can keep him there. Joe, this guy has a top game as scary as anybody in the game. And when you can control a fighter like that in a fight, it's a great source of confidence. He'll use the body weight to keep you down and prevent any sort of hip escapes because his hips are so strong. Physical freak who will sap your willpower and your gas tank with the best of them. This guy has one punch knockout power. And when a fighter has that kind of ability, it's always a big advantage. It's great to see this guy make the walk here tonight. Really as accomplished a striker as we've seen come into the UFC in years. And no surprise, he'll be interested in keeping the fight standing tonight. We'll see if he can put on a striking clinic. If the takedown defense holds up, figures to have a pronounced advantage on the feet. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do is utilize his footwork, his takedown defense, and land hard strikes to get the victory. for this flyweight fight. Four years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, seven losses. He stands. Five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Brisbane, Australia, Ben Ten Newland. And now introducing the opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 11 wins, four losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Spartanburg, South Carolina. Justin Tank Scoggins! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of Herb Dean. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Ready. Well, the Octagon is touched down here at United Center in Chicago, Illinois. Seemingly an annual stop for the MMA leader here to the Windy City. Great to have you with us, as always, as we get underway. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Ben Wynn. Scoggins gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. That one hurts. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Head kick. Landed that one. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Good combination so far from both men. Win gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Right hook to the body. Win's cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. Continuing to stay busy, now goes to the knee to the body. Going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by Ben. Oh, he tagged him to the left. Oh, that one hurt him. That oh, one appeared to stop. Back up. Elbow. 
And he turns it around into full guard. He's trying to get into position to attack with the Kimura. He's got his wrist clasped together, the double wrist lock position. From there, he's gonna rotate his body, put his leg across the back, and then put his other leg on the back of the neck. Lifts that wrist up and towards his opponent's back. Oh, and it. Dark will do it! The round was about to end. Sunk in the submission and got the victory. Well, yeah, Joe, you could tell he was gonna stop at nothing to leave the judges out of this one here tonight. He was focused on getting the win and getting it by submission. And you saw him in hot pursuit of it much earlier in the round, but he didn't wanna rush it. Then there was an opening there late, largely caused by a beautiful setup, and the submission comes late in the round. High-level stuff there. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, the mission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Ben well, at this point, all that is left is the celebration, and it's nice to see this fighter sharing a moment with his coaches and training partners after the big submission win here tonight. He had no shortage of naysayers coming in. A lot of people said he couldn't come in here and submit a foe of this quality. Well, that should mute the masses a little bit. That should set him up for a big fight moving forward. Tonight, though, as I mentioned, all about the celebration, and it is on in the corner.